Hello, my awesome fearless Virgos. Happy weekend to you. It's Saturday morning where I am. Virgo, I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend that you are deserving. Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you. What you be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Virgo. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Virgo, this one wants to show up as extra message, very important. Oh, this is you celebrating something. Oh, yeah. You're celebrating freedom from some toxic people that you walked away from for good, that you've been trying to walk away from for a long time, I would say years, and some of them decades, whether it was toxic relatives, toxic friends, toxic coworkers, toxic neighbors, you name it. This is you successfully finally making a clean getaway. <laughs> from toxic people good for you virgo yeah you're realizing that people who are toxic who are narcissistic so who are self-absorbed will only drain your energy and undermine you and um uh, depress you and use you yeah this is you realizing you have too much to offer to be hanging around toxic people yeah who brought you nothing but grief yeah yeah, you see this? Look, look, look at this. Do you see all these swords? Yeah. Some of them even made you feel unworthy. Yeah. It, it, they even made you doubt yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've been through too much. Yeah, you have too much to offer to be hanging around toxic people. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Do you see this? Yeah, the devil. You have valid reasons to walk away from them. Yes, you do. There you go, the devil energy. You have very valid reasons to walk away from them. You're not imagining, you're not imagining that they are toxic and narcissistic. They were, you see this? That's why you had to let them go, yeah. Mm. Virgo, I'm proud of you. It's not easy to let go of toxic relatives, especially because they are your relatives, right? But you have to do what's best for you ultimately. Yeah, for your sanity's sake and your health. Beautiful. Look how beautiful your energy is. This is you taking accountability for your life, yourself, recognizing very clearly what's good for you, what's not, what you need to walk away from, what you need to keep in your life. This is you taking charge of your life. Good for you. Look how powerful you are. Yes, you're recognizing the truth around you. Yeah, you can be brainwashed. Mm-hmm. Universe, please show us. What I'm so proud of you, Virgo. I know it wasn't easy. Look, look how much you had to go through to finally say to yourself, enough is enough. These people are not going to change. They're just gonna drag me down with them. You see this? Yeah. Universe, please show us. This is beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Virgo. This is you liberating yourself of toxic people and toxic energy in your life. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, it took you a long time to get to this level, but you finally got it. Yeah, it took you a long time, but look how much you're accomplishing. Beautiful. You're concentrating heavily on your job, your business, your financial independence, stability, investments, yes, bills. Spending, yeah. Look how powerful you are. The magician showing up twice. You have a lot of power. Yeah. Inner power, wisdom to make right decisions for yourself. You don't need, yeah, beautiful. The sun, the best card in the whole deck. 
the worst is behind you. You see very clearly that you are making the right decision. They can't come back to you anymore like they were able to in the past. In the past, they were able to uh, lie to you and deceive you and, and tell you stories that were not true and convince you that they should be back in your life and you let them back in. But this time, that's it. You're realizing you can't let them back in because they're gonna cause you more grief, more heartbreak, more betrayal. You see this? The sun, beautiful. If you've been feeling sick uh, physically or low on energy or depressed, this is you taking proper steps to make yourself feel better. This is you healing physically, emotionally, spiritually. Yeah. The best thing you can do for yourself is uh, stay away from toxic people, narcissistic people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People who are like this blame others for the self-created drama in life. Yeah, they never take accountability for the mistakes, which means they never learn from them. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Virgo, some of them will still try to come back. Do not let them. Uh, you already know you can't let them come back. Yeah, they're still going to try to come back. Uh, you also letting go of a toxic soulmate. Yeah, you're letting them go. Who drained you. Yeah. You're letting them go as well. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Justice will be served. Yeah. Beautiful. Those that wronged you, deceived you, stole from you, lied to you, will have to deal with karma. Yeah. They're going to have to learn the hard way. Look how powerful you are, whether you're male or female. Queen of Wands, powerful. But because of the way it's painted with a dragon that is looking at you and you looking back at it, this actually represents your soul, your higher self, your spirit. You are very intuitive, very psychic. Yeah, this is you getting downloads of information from higher power. Yeah, and even though you're not going to remember the information on a conscious level because you're going to get it either during your sleep or meditative states, prayers, uh, on a subconscious level, your soul, your spirit will remember the information that you're getting and you'll be able to use that information in your everyday life decision making. Like here, you see, you know you're making right decision of letting toxic people go for good this time. <sighs> you have very fake people at your job. Yeah. Jealous, fake, insecure. Yeah. You know who they are already. Uh, just keep clear of the gossip circles. Yeah, you don't have to go to lunches with them or spend weekends with them. Remember, never confuse your business partners or your coworkers or your associates or your bosses with your friends. They're not your friends. Yeah, never mix those two together. Yeah, keep your business life, your work life totally separate from your personal life. They're not your friends. Yeah. Ooh, so somebody that one, at least one of the people you're letting go of for good, whoever they are, uh, whether it's family members or uh, friends, coworkers, nosy neighbors, exes, soulmate, uh, is showing up here with addiction to alcohol. Yeah, this is addiction to alcohol. Yeah. People who suppress their feelings, especially on a regular basis, um, develop addictions. Yeah. The most common is alcohol, yeah, but there are others as well, yeah. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo doing? I'm so proud of you, Virgo. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating this accomplishment. You're going to feel so light. You're going to feel so rejuvenated by letting go of toxic people once and for all, not allowing them to come back to you with more of the same drama, chaos, yeah, you feel like you've been drained completely by some of these people that you're letting go of. You feel so drained completely, emotionally, physically, energetically, spiritually. Yeah. You need a long time in nature. Yeah. For retreat. Beautiful. Virgo, you're meeting new people of quality. People with high vibration like you, people who match your high vibration, <clears throat> who are not toxic. You see this? Beautiful. 
new friendships that are worthwhile blessings entering your life yeah some of them are not happy that you're letting them go uh, but you cannot let them come back because they're going to cause you more grief yeah more heartbreak more sleepless nights more tears more betrayal yeah you cannot let them come back you already know that and it looks like some of them are family members you see this yeah family members Ooh, Virgo, you're so strong. I admire your inner strength, your wisdom. Yeah. See, you've been trying to let them go for a while, some of them. And they always somehow uh, snuck back into your life. Yeah, not this time. Yeah. See these lights over here? This is illuminating your path, your wisdom. You see very clearly who is authentic, who is fake in your life. And there's an owl here. There's an owl here which represents your wisdom. Trust your wisdom, trust your intuition, because only you know what's best for you. Only you know. Nobody has the answers but you. You just have to trust your intuition, your wisdom, your sound judgment. And there's a cat here, um, which shows me that there's one person in particular, more than any other person that has been toxic in your life, that has been successfully re-entering your life, okay? And they're going to try again. Do not let them, yeah, because you're going to regret it. Yeah, I love cats, but in tarot, cat represents someone who is deceitful, who is not honest, who is shady, yeah. So be careful because one person in particular is going to try to, they know how to manipulate others. They know how to deceive how to sound trustworthy when they not. Yeah, so this is a very narcissistic person. Yeah. Oh boy, Virgo, I'm so proud of you. My goodness, what a beautiful reading. Now let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Let's see, Universe, please show. The person that you're thinking of while watching this video. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo. The, yeah, they want to communicate. Yeah, you see, they're scared you're going to say no to them, to communication. Let's see, Universe, please show us the soulmate that Virgo is thinking of while watching this video. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? And how's that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? And how's that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? They're missing you a lot. Yeah. But this to show up in position one indicates strongly that the two of you know each other from many past lifetimes. You have a very extensive soul history together. You're going to see them again in future lifetimes, but doesn't mean you have to be romantic with them. You could incarnate next time you incarnate at the same time. You could incarnate as friends or neighbors or co-workers doesn't mean you have to be intimate with them next lifetime depending on what lessons you want to learn from each other um they missing you a lot they reminiscing of you so this shows me that they clearly recognize that you were the best that they've ever been with in this lifetime yeah you were really good to them they recognize that now they took it for granted when they had you yeah, they took you for granted. They want to find balance in their life. This person wants to clearly come towards you. Yeah, this is them. What concerns me is that because of the way it's painted and the red color everywhere shows me that they used to uh, wishy-washy uh, relationships, being in and out of people's lives, uh, paying too much attention to passionate connection, not enough to feelings, emotions, communication. Um, this is them preparing themselves for communication with you, even though they would prefer you reach out to them first so they don't look like they are desperate to see you, uh, need you, which they do, but they don't want you to know that. They're not good at communicating with you. They're not good at listening to your concerns. Yeah, they want to be brave enough to reach out to you. Let me see their subconscious position. Oh, no, 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 Virgo. No. Yeah, they've been like this for a long time. Yeah, they're used to toxic relationships with toxic people. Yeah, you had valid reasons to walk away from them, and they know that. But because this is showing up 
in subconscious position shows me that they either are in denial about their behavior, not recognizing that they are sabotaging their relationship with you, but or or uh, they hide it really well. But you already know you have to let them go for your highest good. You see? Oof. Let's see. Universe, please show us. Yeah. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? This combination is not good. It shows me promiscuous behavior, history of promiscuous behavior, paying too much attention to uh, sexual energy, not enough to feelings, emotions, communication in relationships. Yeah. But it, in their defense, however, on the other side, on the other hand, uh, they're used to people who put up with this kind of behavior, who find this uh, acceptable uh, because they were toxic. But you are the opposite of toxic. You are not toxic. You are of high vibration. You're not going to put up with this kind of behavior. So they definitely misjudged you and took you for granted and disrespected you. Universe, they don't have experience with people of your high quality. Yeah. Universe, please show us. So they didn't mean to hurt you on purpose, even though they did hurt you. But they didn't mean to do it. Yeah, this is what they used to. This kind of behavior is what they used to. It's a pattern for them. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo is thinking of right now. How is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo? Oh, they want to reconcile with you so badly. This person is missing you a lot. They realize you were the best thing in their life, literally the best thing in their life. But for them to realize that finally, they had to ab absolutely lose you for them to finally wake up and realize how good they had it. Oh yeah, communication showing up here. So they've been patiently waiting for communication from you, but they're not getting it. So they're trying to be brave enough to reach out to you. They're very stubborn, set in their ways. They like to be alpha. They like to be in control. They don't communicate effectively. Mm -mm -mm. New person entering your life. I'm so happy for you, Virgo. This person is worried that you may already have someone or someone is approaching you. Yeah, I love the new soulmate's energy. King of Wands. One of my favorite kings. Someone you also obviously know from past lifetimes. <clears throat> Universe, please show us. Hmm. Virgo, even though this didn't work out for you, uh, you're still going to get soul credits for showing this person the right ways. Whether they learn or not is not up to you. It's up to them. You're still going to get soul credits for sacrificing yourself. Yeah. Wow. For taking your time to show them the right paths. Yeah. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, you see snakes over here. So this person is used to that kind of behavior and that kind of uh, quality of people <clears throat> who displays the same, who display the same behavior. This is them trying to be very creative on how to approach you for a possibility of reconciliation. This person is so scared of your rejection, judgment, reaction. They're trying to figure out, is it even possible? Is there really a chance or is this truly over for good? Look how scared they are. Very scared, petrified of reaching out to you, but they know they're going to have to. Whether directly or through a third party or bump into you, make it look accidental. This person is determined. They're not able to move on. Oh, you told them off. You told them what time it is. You stood up for yourself. Yeah, they respect you for it. They don't like it, but they respect you for it. Yeah, you stood your ground. They feel you're going to reject them completely. Uh, yeah, they're very scared of rejection by you. I love the new soulmate's energy. <sighs> yeah, the new soulmate is of high vibration like you. They, they're going to be honest with you. They're not going to... Uh, play mind games with you because they respect themselves too much to waste their time on mind games. If they don't like you or are not interested in you, they're going to give you clear signs. They're just going to tell you, listen, I'm not into you. They're not going to be cheating, lying, manipulating, playing mind games. 
giving you silent treatments because they respect themselves too much to play these mind games. They are too mature. They are accomplished. They are successful. They are attractive. They have too much to lose to be wasting time on mind games. So they're going to tell you what's up right away, <laughs> which is what I love. Straightforward honesty. That's the way people should be. None of that mind game nonsense. Yeah, universe, please show us. Oof, this is not a good sign over here. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo and how's that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo this time, especially emotionally. Ooh, you see this? Do you see this? They recognize you for who you truly are, Empress, whether you're male or female. High vibration, someone with integrity, class, high standards, self-respect, self-love. You see this? They're not used to someone like this. This combination, however, shows me that they're very attracted to you physically. Your energy, how you take care of yourself, how you look, how you carry yourself, the fact that you're not chasing them, you're not desperate for their attention, you're not needy or clingy, you recognize your worth as a person. <clears throat> they want to see you so badly. This is face-to-face -face communication, gifts, apologies, peace offerings. They're spying on you. So they're going to be watching videos like this, doing private readings, checking up on your social media to see what's going on in your life, who is in your life, how to approach you. They do love you. Yes, they do. But the cups are empty. They don't make you feel loved. They don't express. They don't show this love. No, they don't show it. They don't make you feel loved even though they do love you genuinely. Hmm. Wow, Virgo, I'm so proud of you. We're going to go, obviously, into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this person, but also a new soulmate entering your life that showed up as King of Wands. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. The king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So we're going to click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.